Ion Health tonight is live this evening, and the doctor is in the house <laughs> to discuss a new study on exercise and our brains. Yeah, we love when the doctor's in. We've got Dr. Carol Willoway from Baylor Scott & White joining us once again. So we're going to dive into this is a new study, right, but kind of not a new idea in, in terms of what we're dealing with. So it's a Harvard study showing us how exercise helps our brain. So how does it help our brain? Well, it's, it can help. <laughs> uh, what they found is that when we're using our muscles and exercising, some of those same tiny molecules that tell us to exercise and move our muscles actually help with the brain, mm. specifically looking where, at the areas of the brain where we learn and in our memory. What about which, what about which specific exercises are we talking about that they've, that they've kind of said, oh, this one definitely works? Yeah, right? great question. Still need a little bit more study there. What we have found is things like Tai Chi can be very helpful because you're doing a lot of thinking and trying to memorize the moves. Dancing can be really helpful for that as well. Right, and these are all Ooh. on top of what I think we've already kind of digested, and that is like Sudoku and things like that. Yeah. Things that challenge your brain, not necessarily on the physical side, but on the thinking side. That's another form of the exercising. Exactly. I think of it as kind of like a stretch for your brain. We kind of think about it in that way. If we are talking about exercising and just the benefits of it, I mean, we know it's good for our heart. We know it's good for those endorphins that we get afterwards. It makes us feel like we can do anything. What else are, or what are the other benefits that we should be thinking about, like when we are moving our body? Um, so it really can prevent chronic diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure. It's great for a stress reliever, anxiety reliever as well. Mm -hmm. So lots of benefits for exercising. Decreases your risk of many cancers also. Right. Uh, it has been pointed out to me in life many, many times, often by my wife, that boys are different than girls. <laughs> and we're all, we're all on different pages at times in our lives. Uh, talk to us about the difference in, in this study with this between men and women. Is there something that works or doesn't work as well for a woman mm -hmm. versus a man and vice versa? So that's really interesting. A study came out earlier this year that showed when men and women do the same types of exercises for about the same amount of time, so that was being on the treadmill, pickleball, everyone's Ooh. new favorite, mm -hmm. Uh, that women actually had a much greater improvement and decrease in their risk of death. So 24% less likely to die when you're doing these exercises. Men, same amount of time, just a 15% decrease, hmm. which again, still a decrease, still get your exercise, but women seem to be more likely to have these benefits. So now more studies need to be done to see well, what's the right amount for men and right. the right mm -hmm. amount for right. women? Not, not to make light in any way of it, but it's all because dudes aren't listening half the time. That's You're why the numbers right. are bad for us, right? It's... Doug, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, thank you. <laughs> Dr. Welloway, we appreciate you having, or we appreciate you being here with us. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks for being in. Okay.